Leslie Franklin. So, um, I am actually on my way back from a girls weekend up in the mountains, so I look like utter hell because I just woke up. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning right now, um, but I have to be to work this morning um, at 8, so I'm coming down the mountain. Um, so, but I had a thought. I've been dealing with a lot lately, and I haven't been doing very well, and so, I don't know, I mean, some things I'm doing really good, some things I'm not, but stress levels have been, like, at an all-time high, and when you're in maintenance, or when you've gone through everything that we've gone through, um, stress can really just throw you where you don't want to be, I guess. How do you get through stress without just plain and simple losing it? Totally. Um, I can handle minor stresses, I can handle major stresses, but I can't handle a ton of major freaking stresses. I'm just at the end of my rope and I don't know what to do. I don't know. Um, for one, I've got some medical issues going on that are concerning that I need to go get checked out. I don't have any insurance until January 1st. Um, this is something that is time sensitive though, because if it is what I think it might be, you know, five months could make a big difference. But if I, if it is what it could be, um, My insurance would then say pre-existing condition. We're not going to pay for it if if I went and got diagnosed, um, and I can't afford <laughs> thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for surgeries and and medical care. And I'm really scared. And so I'm like, do I wait the five months and and get checked out then, or do I get in now and? chance it and just hope that they tell me it's not what it appears to be. Um, that's a huge stressor, just knowing that there could be anything wrong with your body that that is like a ticking time bomb. I mean, that's, that's a huge stressor. Um, but that's been put on the back burner. Um, my family knows about it. My husband knows about it. He wants me to go to a doctor, but there's nothing I can do right now. Like, I'm just waiting and, and if something if it gets worse, um, larger, whatever, then, in which it's, it seems to be doing so, um, then I will, I will go in and have someone check it out and hopefully I can wait until my insurance to do so, but I don't know, it's a huge stressor. Um, my husband's job has been a gigantic stressor. Um, he you know, had like three weeks worth of training and was just kind of thrown into the job, um, which this time of year, this is the busiest time of year. So of course we knew this is the way it was going to be, but he went from not working at all to working a hundred plus hours a week and not having time to breathe, think or anything. And he's gotten wonderful, like marks, you know, like you're doing great, blah, blah, blah. But he's taken every email he gets personal. He's freaking out about the job. Um, he hasn't received much pay yet. Like, he, he's supposed to get a certain salary per month. Well, because of where he started in the month, he did not make anywhere near that last month. And so, and then he got, he had a bonus he was supposed to get. And the last guy who lost his job, um, that my husband got his job, ended up getting my husband's bonus and so my husband's like I worked my ass off for what you know um because that's just the way that it works now this next month every single week he'll pretty much get a decent check um and he'll get his bonus and if he gets a bonus because they've had to put so much stuff on his route that he might not even get a bonus so then he's back at where he is again and like going oh, I worked for nothing um and he's been just kind of looking at me like, I hate my job, I'm only doing this for you. And that is so stressful, beyond stressful, because 
I don't want my husband to hate anything about our lives. I don't want him to do anything that he hates. But at the same time, he's describing every day that he describes his job to me and what he has to do and everything, he's describing what I do and he doesn't appreciate it. Um, I have been the sole provider for the home for years and I've done and still do everything that he does plus some and work more hours than, than what he does. And so it's like, suck it up and quit crying about crap that I do every day. I mean, like, if I can handle it, you can handle it. But, you know, going from not working to going to just all of this, it's just kind of overwhelming to him. And I'm hoping he can stick in there and find a reason to stay. Because um, we really need this. We really, really need this. And we really need the insurance. Um, and so I'm really hoping that he just sticks in there. My sister went and screwed up and got put in jail and for a really major offense that is going to end up probably putting her in jail for a year or so um, and called me every single day about 20 sometimes a day until I finally bailed her out because I just wanted the phone calls to stop. Honest to God, I just wanted the phone calls to stop. I mean, I love my sister, but I think really honestly she probably should have stopped there. Um, for what she did, but I couldn't handle, I couldn't handle answering that phone and telling her that I can't get you out, or answering the phone and telling her family that there's nothing I can do about it, and they're not willing to do it, but yet they still look at me like I'm a bad person because I'm not bailing her out, and it's like, <laughs> what, when did I become the savior, when did I become her, um, way to get out of things. I just, that's not fair. Um, but I ended up bailing her out and now I've got to keep tabs on her, but it's less work than dealing with the stress and shaking every time that my phone rang because I didn't want to answer it. And we're talking seven to 20 times a day. Um, cause I didn't want to own up to the fact that I didn't want to let her out or I didn't have the money or I didn't have the whatever. I just did not feel that it was my responsibility to do so. And I, I shouldn't have had to. Um, but I did. You know. And we're building an expansion at work. And I've got work stressors up and down the freaking board. I mean, we're doing so much quantity of work. Um, of everything that there is a stressor, 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 stressor. Every time I turn around at work, I go to work, I get off work, and it feels like I've only been there five minutes. I mean, it just, it's, the day just goes away. So, these are some of the things, and this is just a portion of things going on in my life right now, but they're all pretty large things, and I'm not complaining about my life. Everybody has lives worse, better, whatever. I'm saying, for me, I am having a difficult time because I'm trying to live properly, I'm trying to eat healthy, I'm trying to exercise, I'm trying to be there for my kids, I'm trying to be there for my family, and my work, and everything else, and it seems like I don't, I can't find a foot to stand on right now. I feel like I'm just in this limbo of just falling and falling and falling, and um, my food is is hugely impacted. I try to make good choices. Am I always making good choices right now? No. I've been drinking alcohol because like as well it was a girls weekend up in the mountains of course I'm going to drink alcohol. I haven't been drinking alcohol outside of maybe a weekend but yeah, I am drinking it more frequently than I normally would um, and so that needs to quit because I can tell my body is not pleased about it. Um, just trying to deal with everything and maintenance is so hard because you feel normal. You feel absolutely normal. You feel like you finally can eat normal stuff every once in a while of food or, um, or if you eat too much, you get reminded that you're not. But other than that, you've lost all your weight. 
You just have to maintain and stay where you are, and you feel normal enough that you can eat normal foods as long as you try to put your protein first, and sometimes you just forget to do some of your your basics, and you have to get back to your basics and make sure that your basics are working for you. And, um, you know, and I, right now I'm not dealing with that too much. Like, on the weekends, I am eating some chips and things like that, which even though I cut myself off of chips, here I am back to chips. I need to just, like, tattoo no chips on my freaking arm. Um, they don't hurt me right away, but they do hurt me. <sighs> Down the line. Like today, my body, I, my brain feels great. I feel like refreshed. I've had a wonderful night's sleep in the wilderness and I, I feel refreshed and, and just centered and just good. My body feels like I'm dying and I'm not hungover. Last night I had a couple of drinks and decided I just didn't feel good and I went to bed. Um, way like hours and hours and hours before everybody else did. And so not from being hung over or anything. I just don't feel good. And I don't like that feeling at all. So, um, yeah. Maintenance is hard. Uh, very hard. But it's simple and easy as well because you're not, you're no longer focused on the losing. You're no longer focused on obtaining big goals and you've already obtained them and now you just need to keep them and so the worry that you're not going to keep them is huge but at the same time life is there too and, and apparently you know by a factor that I haven't been making as many videos which I have been making videos they're sitting on my stupid Windows 8 computer like looking at me going hmm maybe I should post these Windows 8 is the biggest piece of crap I've ever touched in my life. I open my computer up, I touch it for like two seconds, I get pissed off and I walk away. Like, I would rather sit there and fight with my iPad to post a freaking video than deal with a freaking my Windows 8 laptop. I mean, I, ugh, ridiculous. But anyways, I don't want to take up too much time. I thought I'd tell you guys where I'm at, what the stresses are. Maintenance is difficult, it can be done, and it is being done just hoping that everything works out for the best and that I can get on to like because three weeks from now I have a 5k race and I have not been running I need to be running I need to be biking I need to be doing everything um to get ready for this so uh we will see <laughs> so anyways have a good day you guys